This is Higher Homework 4. I'm looking at question 6. Triangle ABC has vertices A, B and C with these coordinates. I have to find, in the first case, the equation of the line P, the median from C of triangle ABC. Right, so let's look at what a median is going to do. So a median is going to be hitting from C, it's going to go across here and hit the midpoint of this line here. So these sizes are the same and they're going to get a midpoint. So what I'll do is I'll just draw that line in first of all. Okay, so it's going to be from there all the way across to there. Okay, what I'll do is I'll call that there the point P. Okay. Right then, and let's do, do some working to work out the equation of this line. Right, so the first thing that I'm going to do with uh, a median, I'm going to find the midpoint of the line here. So, for part A, the midpoint of, and it's AB, so I've drawn the triangle, I can see where uh, I'm looking at, so it's this point here. So it's the midpoint of AB, and the way we're going to find that is we're going to take the mean of the x coordinates and the mean of the y coordinates. So I've got minus 1 plus minus 3 all over 2 and I've got uh, 6 plus minus 2 all over 2. From there what I can do is I can see that that's minus 4 over 2 it's minus 2 and 4 over 2 is just 2. So that's we got the midpoint. What I'll then do is I'll work out the gradient. So the gradient I'm going to work out is going to be CP. I'm going to work out the gradient of this line. I'm just going to be using y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And just be careful with the points that you use. Okay. So now we know that P has the coordinates minus 2, 2. Okay. Right, so let's go for 2, take away 2. And go for 5, take away minus 2. So that gives me 0 on the top there, and that's going to give me 7 on the bottom. So 0 divided by 7 is going to give me 0. Right, from, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, substitute the... Uh, well, well, I can see straight away that my equation of the line is going to be a horizontal line here, and it's going to be when y equals 2. So I could go ahead and just uh, state that uh, y is going to be equal to 2. Or... If I was doing it uh, from another point of view, I would just substitute the gradient of 0 and I would choose one of the points and I'll choose the point C, which was the one given, 5, 2, and I'll put that into the equation of a straight line, which is y minus b equals m x minus a. And remember that's my a value, my b value. And go for 0 going in there, and that's going to be x minus 5. So that's going to leave me with y minus 2 equals 0 when I multiply that bracket out there. So y is equal to 2. So that's the equation of the median from C. So in here, I should be getting 3 marks for this one. So I'll get uh, 1 mark for getting the, the midpoint of AB. I'll go for 1 mark for getting the gradient, and 1 mark for getting the equation of the line. For part B, let's go for part B now. I have to find out the equation of the line Q, and that will be the perpendicular bisector of BC. Right, so let's see what we've got to do here. So the perpendicular bisector, so I need to find about the midpoint of uh, this line here, of BC. And what I need to do is get a line that's going to be going at uh, right angles to it. So something like that line there. That'd be at right angles to the line BC. Right, so to find out the uh, the gradient of this line, I'm going to find the gradient of BC, and then I'm going to perp it, or I'm going to flip and change it. And that's the way I'm going to do that. So let's work that out first of all. So let's go for the gradient of BC. Gradient of BC is, uh, I'm going to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'll go for 2 minus minus 2 and 5 minus minus 3. That's going to give me 4 on the, the top there. That's going to give me 8 on the bottom, which simplifies down to a half. So that's the gradient of BC. But uh, it wasn't BC that I'm really after. What I'm really after is the, the perpendicular gradient. So the perpendicular gradient is going to be equal to, instead of it being a half, it's going to be 2 over 1, and I'll change the sign, which is just the same as minus 2. 
and the reason why I'm doing that will be the two gradients multiplied together will give me a minus one value. Okay, so that's a uh, minus two for the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Right, so I need a point on this line to work it out, so I don't have any points yet, so I need to work out this point here, which is the midpoint of BC. So let's go for the midpoint, midpoint of BC, and I'm just going to take the, uh, the mean of the x and y coordinates. So I've got 5 plus minus 3 all over 2, I've got 2 plus minus 2 all over 2, so that should give me 2 over 2, which gives me 1. And there I've got 0 over 2, which will give me 0. So that's 1, 0 that I've got there. So I'm going to work out the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Or BC. And I'll do that by substituting uh, the gradient that I worked out. So it's the perpendicular gradient which is equal to minus 2, and the point 1, 0, because that's the only point that I've got on that line, and that's going to be going into the standard equation of a straight line, which is y minus b equals mx minus a. Right, remember that's my a value, that's my b, okay? So y minus 0 is equal to gradient minus 2, x minus 1, okay? So that's going to give me y is equal to minus 2x, and that's going to be plus 2. And what I'll do is, just to, to prepare for uh, simultaneous equations, what I can do is I can bring the, the minus 2 over to this side, get 2x plus y is equal to 2 on that side there. Right, so, so in here I should be getting uh, 4 marks for a perpendicular bisector. I've got 4 bits to do, so I find out the gradient of BC first of all, I get the perpendicular gradient, I find the midpoint and I substitute it in and get the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Right, so I'm now going to work out uh, where these uh, points uh, coincide or where they intersect. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do that by simultaneous equations. So the first equation I've got is the equation of the median, which is y is equal to 2. And the other equation I've got is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So there's 1 and there's 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to substitute 1 into 2. Okay, Substitute y equals 2 into equation number 2. So I'm just going to be doing this by substitution. So I know that my y coordinate is going to be equal to 2 and then my x coordinate, so here's equation 2, 2x plus the 2 going in there equals 2, so just to solve that, the 2 coming over to the other side will be minus, that will be a 0, so x here is going to be equal to 0. So the coordinates of the, the point of intersection is going to be x is 0, y is equal to 2, and that's complete. So just a simple, straightforward uh, simultaneous equations part there. So that one there is just going to give us one mark. So this question here, out of eight. So a real standard uh, question that you get in your exam, working out either a median or an altitude and a perpendicular bisector and find out where they uh, intersect. Okay, that's uh, question six complete.